Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into one of the most fascinating topics out there. How people around the world live to be over 100. Yeah, you heard that right. Centenarians, the real life superhumans. We'll break down the key lessons from Dan Bietner's book, The Blue Zones, where he explores the habits, environments, and cultures that have made it possible for people to live the longest, healthiest lives. And if you're ready to unlock the secrets to longevity, then hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. So, what exactly are the Blue Zones? Well, these are five unique regions around the globe where people not only live longer, but they live better. These regions are spread across different parts of the world, but they all have one thing in common. The people here tend to live way beyond 100, and they do it without the chronic diseases that cut many of our lives short, like heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. These regions are Okinawa, Japan, home to some of the world's longest living women. Their diet is rich in vegetables and tofu, and they maintain strong social connections. Sardinia, Italy, particularly the mountainous region of Barbaja, where men live longer than anywhere else. Their diet is plant heavy, and they are physically active throughout the day. Nicoya Peninsula, Costa Rica, known for a high concentration of centenarians, this region has a simple diet rich in beans and corn tortillas and a strong focus on family and social bonds. Ikaria, Greece. This island is famous for its longevity and low rates of dementia. Icarians enjoy a Mediterranean diet, frequent naps, and a stress-free lifestyle. Loma Linda, California, USA. The Seventh-day Adventist community here has a higher than average lifespan, due in part to their plant-based diet and a strong sense of purpose and faith. Now let's get into the nine key longevity lessons these Blue Zones teach us, lessons you can apply to your life today. One, move naturally. In Blue Zones, people don't hit the gym or run marathons. Instead, they move naturally throughout the day. They walk, garden, cook, all kinds of low intensity activities that keep them physically active. Two, plant-based diet. Most Blue Zone diets are about 95% plant-based. They eat a lot of vegetables, beans, and whole grains, with meat being more of a side dish than the main course. 3. Harahachibu In Okinawa, they practice something called Harahachibu, which means eating until you're 80% full. This helps prevent overeating, which we all know is a huge problem for many of us. The practice of eating until 80% full is a form of caloric restriction that helps prevent overeating, promotes weight management, and reduces metabolic stress. This approach supports better digestion, improves hormonal balance, and triggers cellular repair processes like autophagy, which contribute to longevity. Four. Drink wine, in moderation. Here's a fun one. In Sardinia, people drink red wine almost daily, but in moderation. One or two glasses a day with friends or family, never alone, seems to offer some heart health benefits. Five, find purpose. People in blue zones have a strong sense of purpose. In Okinawa, they call it ikigai, which means reason for waking up. In Nicoya, it's known as Plan de Vida. Whatever you call it, knowing why you wake up in the morning gives your life meaning, and that can add years to your life. Six, downshift. Stress is a killer, but in blue zones, people know how to downshift. Whether it's through prayer, naps, or spending time with loved ones, they make relaxation a priority. Seven, belong to a faith-based community. Most of the centenarians in these regions belong to some kind of faith-based community. It doesn't matter the denomination, 
but attending services four times a month has been linked to longevity. 8. Put family first. In Blue Zones, family is everything. They take care of their elders, and in return, elders take care of their grandchildren. This tight family bond is key to both emotional and physical well-being. 9. Surround yourself with the right people. This one's huge. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. In Blue Zones, people are surrounded by others who reinforce healthy behaviors, friends, family, and communities that support longevity. All right, so you might be thinking, this sounds amazing, but how can I bring Blue Zone habits into my life? Here are some easy tips to get started. Move more naturally by walking or biking to work, gardening, or taking the stairs. Eat more plants. Try adding beans, nuts, and fresh veggies to your daily meals. Practice harahachibu. Stop eating when you're 80% full. No need to overstuff yourself. Take time to downshift by meditating, praying, or simply taking a few minutes each day to relax. Prioritize your relationships. Spend more time with family, friends, and people who support your goals. And finally, find your purpose, something that gets you excited to wake up every morning. By following these simple habits, you could potentially add years, good years, to your life. Imagine waking up at 100, feeling healthy, strong, and still surrounded by loved ones. That's the power of the Blue Zones. It's not about extreme diets or punishing exercise routines, but about making small, sustainable changes that enhance your overall well-being. Whether it's eating a bit more mindfully, moving naturally, or strengthening your social connections, these habits aren't just about living longer, they're about living better. So, why not start today? Your future self will thank you for it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on unlocking your fullest potential. And leave a comment below. What Blue Zone habit are you excited to start today? Let's build a community of centenarians in the making. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.